Hey guys, it's Sarah from Rise Morning Stitching. Today is February 23rd, 2024, and this is Floss Tube 87. Um, if you're new, thanks for stopping by. I've had a couple uh, new subscribers. I'm almost at 500, so when that happens, there'll be a little giveaway because that's what I always do when I hit a 100 marker because why not? Um, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. It's always good to see you guys. Thanks for leaving comments and messages and DMs on Instagram. Appreciate it. Uh, I feel like I have a lot to show you because I meant to come last week, but for the life of me, I can't remember why I didn't. It was something. Something happened Friday and I don't know what it was that made me stop and not do it. I might not have felt well. I can't remember. But I feel like I have a lot of stuff to show you. So, let's dig in. I don't know where to start. I mean, I know I usually have like a system, but... I guess we'll start with FFOs because I have actually quite a few FFOs. Oh yeah, so a floss tube, if you're finding me, you probably know what a floss tube is. It's about cross stitch, but I also knit and I quilt. Um, I have done some knitting. Actually, I knit so much on a sock on Valentine's Day because I was waiting for my husband at Quiznos. <laughs> my husband works like an hour and a half away and uh, on, I want to say Thanksgiving, on Valentine's Day, he was like, hey, I know it's not romantic or anything, but do you want to or meet at, like, Quiznos for dinner? Because it's on his way home from work. So when he, he would have to drive home from work and then drive back out. So we just met at Quiznos. But I hadn't been there in a while, and I forgot just how close it is to us. So I got there, like, 45 minutes early. <laughs> so I just sat in my car. I always have my knitting in my purse, and I knit, and it made my hands swell up and uh, get stiff because I don't knit very much anymore. But I'm not going to show it because it's a sock and it looks the same because even though I was in the car for 45 minutes, I also listened to podcasts and doom scrolled on my phone. So, you know. Anyways, so, but I am going to show you sewing because I did quite a lot of that. Some of these FFOs are sewing. Long tangent to get to that point. I'm sorry. And I don't have all the information for the things I finished because I did not bring my craft notebook. I did not. Sorry. I'll have everything linked below. So first thing I did, <clears throat> I don't have I don't have anymore because my son's best friend had a baby. And so uh when my son went over to see the baby, I made them no-bake cookies and bought them more diapers. And then I made them burp cloths for my son to take over. And I just made these out of um, some leftover flannel. Yeah, I think it's flannel. That I had for another baby project years ago. So I just made four little burp cloths, kind of varying in size. The first one I did was not a rounded because while I have sewn a stocking that had rounded corners, you know, obviously it has some rounding on it. I've never really done a lot of rounding, but I didn't like the way it looked. So on the next three, I went ahead and did the rounded corners and I loved how they turned out. So, and Dash Buster got rid of all that flannel. So that was nice. So I made those and then I made, oh, I didn't bring it. You guys should see all the shit I have on this table. And still, it's not everything I needed for this. Ugh. I'm going to be right back because I've already stopped and started this thing so many times. I'm not doing it again. Okay. <sighs> I'm back. I also forgot the other stuff. So, it was a good Actually, good thing I got off my ass. Okay. What was I doing? What was I at? Patrick Beck. Ah. That was from the Missouri Star Quilts uh, Advent box Christmas this year. And I went with the that one. And I didn't want to do the... Whatever that is. <laughs> and um, I hated making this bag. Absolutely hated it. I 
hate it. I don't I don't know what my problem was with it, but I miss like I miss I just miss I miss I miss sewed, I miss um cut, I miss uh measured. I sew because you have an inner and an outer. I sewed this the wrong sides together twice. I had to I went all the way around, or is it three times? I can't remember now. All the way around, and I was like, oh, yeah. if I turn it inside out, it's gonna be inside out. So I unpicked it all. And then I sewed the exact same way. Unpicked it all. I'm pretty sure by the third time I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> I hate this bag. I don't even know if I'll ever use it because I don't know if it's just, I don't know. Maybe I can use it for a project bag for like knitting, which I don't do a lot of anymore. <laughs> Anyways. I got my notebooks. Let me find out the information for it. It is, oh, look at this patchwork bag from Missouri Star Quilt. It's right there on the bag, on the pattern. And I used Wandering Ways by Stephanie Organas for Andover Fabrics. I used the charm pack that came with the um, kit and the fusible fleece. I used my own because I had used the other fleece for some a fusible for something else. It came with the handles and the little snaps, which I've never done snaps before. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So, okay, so here's the back. I mean, it's cute as shit, but there's so many problems with it that I shouldn't point out. We tell all... Whenever we watch videos, we tell people, don't point out your mistakes, because I wouldn't have noticed them. But, like, I have to. Look look at these wonky-ass hands. Look at this. I don't know what happened here. So wonky. And then I mis measured this, so this is thinner than it should be. And then, apparently, when I was sewing them, cause it's just you just fold them over and then stitch them down. Whip stitch them down. Which uh, is a very bad whip stitch, because I was freaking done by this point. See how they, the handles stick out? You're not supposed to see, <laughs> see that bottom. I'm pretty sure I was meant to sew them down like this <laughs> so that you don't see the bottom of the handle. But I didn't. I did that so you can see the bottom of the handle. Which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to. But I am quite proud with, because I've done box, is it box corners? Before in my, like, I haven't been the best. But look how well those lined up. It looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, it's not perfect, but obviously. It's a lot better than my uh, other attempts, let me tell you what. And then inside, my lining is just like, like, what the fuck's going on here? I think I've never done a lining before. I think, hmm. anyways. So that's my bag that I made that I don't know if I will ever use. I thought, oh, stand up. Damn. Thought I might gift it. And then I made it and it has all these freaking problems with it. And I'm like, I can't give that to somebody. Mm. That's the ugly ass handles. I mean, I'm pretty, that's, that, that's a, I'm not unwhipped stitching that. I'm, I'm not doing it. And then like, I got like thread bunching and the inside is a hot garbage and I got so mad by the end I didn't even care how the bottom looked. I had to like sew the bottom closed like three times because I kept So I don't know what I'll do with it because I don't, honestly don't know if I'll ever use it. I don't want to give it to them. I, mean, I guess I could give it to like just give it to they don't have a goodwill. They have a St. Vincent in town. I guess I could do that. Give it away. Thrift shop. I mean, it would be a good knitting bag if I knit, but I hardly ever knit anymore. Okay. Oh. And then see what else. <laughs> I'll show you the couple more sewing things I did, and then I'll show you the FFOs of the uh, cross stitch that I did. So, oh, I never showed, I never uh, showed you this because I made them and then I sent them off for Valentine's Day. But um, I made Kaylee a... From Kaylee tent stitch. I made her a pin cushion out of hexagons. It was super cute. And some Allison glass fabric. I 
love that with some glass, you guys. pictures of it because I made it and then I boxed it up because I didn't want to oh it's upside down <laughs> this is just what you wanted to see right me on my phone right this is what you tuned in for this was a not really a pattern pattern I saw it online and I thought well I could just do that I don't need a pattern for that and I didn't so there's like it's uh, I, the front or the back whichever you want and then oh that's my grandma oh look back that's my grandma and then that's the other side little pink crochet I made it for Valentine's Day because I sent some other friends um thread but Kaylee dies so she would for thread I don't want to th send her thread so I whipped up a little pink crochet for her real quick am I cute I thought that was super cute and then, I mean, I'm not ruining your surprise, Kaylee. I asked you <laughs> if your kids liked mermaids and unicorns. So, you know these are for your kids. <laughs> but um, we met over the last summer when my kids and I and my husband went to Niagara Falls. So, to commemorate that meeting, we're just, like sending each other like a little gift package. And so, I made her girls something. I made, let's see, this is um, little, just the little pillows. The blocks finished at 10 inches and then made them the little pillows. This is an FPP Mermaid by Joe, June, and May from Etsy. And I used just that stash fabric. And then the pattern had um, this whale fabric, which I wish I could remember. I didn't write it down where it's from. Um, and I was like, well, I have all this fabric but I have to have that whale fabric. So I had to order whale fabric because <laughs> it was so cute on theirs on line that I had to I had to get them. I wish I had made a little border so that the mermaid was a little flatter so that like you didn't lose some of her tail in the fold of the bent the curve of the pillow. Look how cute she is. Yeah I'm gonna put out my mistake. That little bit of hair does not line up. I mean really underwater and like a little bit I don't know that just that part didn't line up and it drives me crazy but what else and then the back is just this like scaly fabric that's kind of a similar color to the, the whales I love those whales so much and then for her other daughter I went with the unicorn and this is from full bobbin designs on Etsy and I used full on just scrap stash for this can't tell but her the horn there's like a little bit of like shiny like around the leaves a little bit shiny this unicorn and again I'll point out where I made a mistake this line of hair right here doesn't line up and that drives me crazy <laughs> but I love this background fabric I have no idea where I got this Joanne's maybe I've used this on other rainbow um patterns blocks whenever I do a rainbow I love this because it's not solid but it's not dark and so busy it distracts from everything else but it gives it I don't know I just I love it and then the white on the unicorn it's got those little swirly bits on it look at my little ear I love this one and the back is just this fun unicorn fabric <laughs> got that from Michael's Isn't that cute? So, just little pillows. Um, and that's, is that it for my sewing? I think it is. So now we'll get on to, um, cross stitch FFOs. So I did FFO these stitches from Valentine's Day my last video so I got this one was my moon valentine's from bendy stitch design it's on mystery 20 count eight I got from my friend Stephanie and it's just like a little flat finish that I lean up on lean up on the wall actually goes around top of my my um, air conditioner thermostat thingy my jigger I mean, it's not the best finish. It's a little lumpy and bumpy. 
but I don't care if it's small. If I wanted, I could eventually one day put some, like, put something around the edge, make it an ornament, put it in a tiny frame, do something with it, but for, for right now, it's just a little, you know, my son is, I can hear him moving around upstairs. And then this is the Love Whirla Gig from Heart and Hand Needle Art, Heart. <laughs> it's another mystery 28 count lemon. And I finished it in that little round thing I got from the dollar store, like I told you guys. I think it's so cute. I think that green, I wasn't sure if the green would work, but I think that green with the reds and the pinks. And it actually fits in really snug. <laughs> Cause I was like, oh, I can do other small things and pop it in and out. I don't know if I'll be able to pop it in and out very easily. <laughs> like it didn't move. But yeah, so that's cute. I'm very happy with that finish. As you can see, I'm not very creative and I don't do a lot of fancy finishes, but it is nice to do something different that's not pillow, hoop, or frame, which brings me to my next two, which are a pillow and a hoop. <laughs> this one is the Tree Trilogy, no, Tree of Love from the Trilogy. And this is on 32 count purple linen, mystery linen, I think also from Stephanie. You just made it into a little pillow. Pink fabric on the back. It's from Adobe. And I usually like to do the finishing where you stuff it, cut a hole, stuff it, and then put something over that. And I got my sewing machine and then I realized I sewed it wrong. And I was like, well, I guess I'm an old school pillow. And I don't even, oh, there it is. Look how bad my whip stitch is. Mm. Anyways, there it is. And then I finished, I, it's hanging up, I can't go get it. I framed my prepare to game. I don't know where I got that from. That pattern is from Etsy a while ago. And I'm fairly certain I do not have a picture of it. Maybe on Instagram. I'm sure on Instagram. Yeah, okay, so it's hanging up. <laughs> right up there I hooped it just simple simple hoop finish and then I finished uh, well I still have to get felt to cover the back but it's uh, callow from um, I don't know something on it I really don't like that look of it um Linux Stitch Creates did a, I don't know if she still does it anymore, the, where she sends out bags. And um, she had one uh, Callow, Callow bag, and it had a pattern in it from her uh, soon to be daughter in law. Um, so as soon as I got it, I stitched it up on this, I think, 18 count non named colorway from Stitch Me Ada. So I got. Uh, hoop and my kid said paint that hoop pink so I did and then I had these fake flowers that came off of a uh, flower headband and I just tacked them on and like I said I have to put felt on the back to, so I don't have any felt right now but there she is and I love her because she's just like Kylo famous for the big flowers big flowers on this dominates it a little bit and that is perfect and I like how the pink frame worked out because normally I don't like I said I'm a no must no fuss kind of girl and usually I just keep my hopes in their natural wood sorry the sun has moved and now I'm uh but yeah there's my callow those are my SSOs, I believe. Yep, that's it. Alright. So now we will go on to whips. I worked on a lot of whips. Pardon me. Okay. Okie dokie. Get these out of the way. Ooh, where to start? We'll start with The not cross stitch. I've only got one thing. I've been working on my EPP, EPP English paper piece and quilt. 
and I've got, I'm pretty sure I've shown you at least one of these blocks before. I've got four blocks. Right now I'm working on the red and the pink blocks. They still have the papers in them because I've decided that every time I get five, then I'll go through and take the papers out. But I'm working on the red and pink blocks. Except for I tried to uh, change things up and I did a pink and purple block. And I was like, no, I have to keep with the red and pink and get the red and pink done. So that's what I'm currently doing is the red and pink block. Makes it look like all mashed and mangled while I'm stitching it together. And so I fold it over. And like that. And then I'm inside. So that is my only sewing. <laughs> Of these EPP blocks that have a lot to go because this project is like four or five years in the making now. EPP is not a fast process, especially when you take like three years off from working on it. And now on to the stitching, which is what I know you're all here for. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is Blacked Sky. don't have a picture of the finished product. That's my son. I can't hear him stomping around. Hey Eli? Yeah. Just so you know I'm making a video. What? I'm making a video. Okay. Let's see. So that's what it looks like when it's done. And um, so I've been working on that. <sighs> you guys, like, I mean, look at it. You, there, you can see there's a lot of green in there, right? But oh my God, there's like, I feel like three of those greens are the same green. I feel like I'm constantly working no matter what I do with this one like shade of green and I'm, I hate it. I like, I do not like working on this project. I love the end and I want it so I will not stop. But... <sighs> I mean, I'm going to be honest, I hate this project. <laughs> um, I lost. It is Black at Sky with a Print of Needle, and I'm using a Nameless 18 Count Ada from Bestitch Me 2 over 2, which I need to trim because it's not going to be that bit. I have it on this huge piece of fabric, but I won't trim it until I get the... There's a three block, so the other block here. I don't know why. I, I know I'm going to have enough. But I'm paranoid. But anyways. It's a beautiful fabric. It's a joy to work on. I could have gone one over two. Which I probably should have done. But I do like when I'm staying far away. How solid it is. But I did finish. Block one and block. Well those two blocks. I don't know what. I don't know they block one and block like four or something. So I took out the huge snap to start working on this block and realized that way over here, I had like only half stitches on black. So I had to finish that. And then I finished this godforsaken sun. Those rays are so freaking, oh, my arms are tired. I've been working out more. My arms are pooped. Those rays, oh my God, so freaking tedious. You see what I mean? Like there's all these greens and they're different, but they're the same. Like, I just I need variety, man. I did the sun in a variegated. It's the only thing I've done not in DMC so far. I may do like part of a tombstone in a variegated. We'll see. I may get there because the calls just really bright green. And I don't like it. So. That's what I've got so far, and I'm currently working on <laughs> this block. So I did started there. So yeah, there it is. My black at sky and all its freaking green glory. So much green. So much green. Like so much of the same green. Like I have like these colors and I'm like, when am I gonna use these colors again? Like, like these oranges and these browns, I'm like I could, but, but no, instead it's, it's like these three greens over and over and over again. Look at, this is these three greens. 
over and over and over and over again. 936, 730, and that's 311, right? 30, 3011, 11, 3, 3011. And then you got these lighter greens. And then this, this bright green. I feel like I'm using these three greens over and over and over again. And I'm sick of them. Oh, that sun was done in Night Stalker's Calling Morticia. Oh, there's even more colors here. Oh, look, and more three, zero, eleven. And then the 420, another brown that apparently it's like very rarely used. Oh, God. I don't know this guys. I just, I really, thank God for fandom stitching. Or God knows when I'd work on this because the reason I'm getting work done on it because I had that one prompt was to work in green. So I got half of that, those rays outlined because it's green. And then a current prompt for this month and next month because of doing the March Teaching Madness, um, the monthly prompts for February are also, they usually have monthly prompts, weekly prompts, whatever. Different, every month's different prompts. I'm not good at explaining. But because of March Madness, they're doing the monthly prompts for February are also the same for March. So, yay. But anyways, one of the prompts is work on something with a tree. And that is a tree right there. So, like 700 stitches. So, thank God for fandom stitching because it got me to finish this block, finish this block, and start on this block. I mean, you don't have to work on the tree. It's something with the tree, but I decided to go up and work on that block. So, which I should have go and done more on that block. But that's how desperate I was for color once. I, well, one of the uh, prompts was like numbers or something. So I was like, well, there's numbers in this and it's not green. So I did them. That was a while ago. Anyway, that's enough ranting about my greened sky. Oh no, I think it's the fourth. <laughs> and then, oh, that's not, what is that? That's, that's not, that's not stitching. Okay. And then I worked on Wave, which again, thank God for fandom stitching. Because I don't even know what the prompt was for this to get me to work on this. Because it's another one where I don't, I don't hate working on this. It's just got so much white and I don't like white. I enjoyed the stitch. The stitching on the fabric is great. It's going to be cute. I cannot wait. I, anyways. But working on it is like, I'm like, oh, the wave. All right. What was the prompt? I think it was working white. <laughs> or something. But it's wave from Fireplace Hobby on Etsy. Trina Mastakova. Hi. Hey. All right. So it's on 28 Count Lugana from Kaylee. I believe it doesn't have a name. No, it doesn't have a name. The tag does not have a name. And it's DMC 2 over 2. And I know I don't do before pictures, so you aren't going to tell that I did quite a lot. So I got like this huge chunk of white down up here. I might cut my eyes. And I got more of that white down there. I love doing the blue. So once I knock out some more white, get that blue done. It's like my arms are so tired, you guys. <laughs> and I've had a bad week. I've bit all my nails off again, I'm sorry. It's my nervous habit. I love it. I like, I just, I love those blues and I love it on this fabric and I love working on this fabric. I just hate that white and there's so much of it. So, can't wait to have that on my wall because it's so pretty. And then I'll have half the fabric left for something else. And then I worked on 
for um, Lunar New Year. It's the year of the dragon. So a bunch of floss tubers and cross stitchers and people on the interwebs have started started dragons. So I only had two dragons in my stash. Or one dragon. This might be my only dragon option. No, no, I had two dragons. Anyway, I decided to go with Fluff the Dragon from Marumi Designs, which I'll probably do another video. That's damn it. Don't. Let me see if I printed out a black and white cover picture. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So a black and white cover picture. You can't see how pretty it is. She did hers like on a purple fabric. And now, this pattern is fun because you look at it and you think that's a smiling dragon, right? No. It's two heads of a dragon. Two-headed dragon and they're spitting fire. I mean, come on. How fun is that? So from like, it's almost like two dragons for the price of one. I started, I wanted, I just really wanted to do that. So I started over here in this corner. And I am using 36 count Alien from the Moon from XJU Designs, XJU Design. It's my first XJU Design. This is 36 count, but it's a really loose 36 count. So I'm doing two over two with um, thread dyed from Kaylee. It's like, brown and grayish blue. Oh, that's coming out really well. Thanks, son. <laughs> and uh, she dyed me this for um, a whale I was doing. I went with something different, but she dyed me two versions. She dyed me long repeats and short repeats. And this is the long repeats. Um, I've got three bobbins. So hopefully that's enough. If not, I'll just use, I also have three bobbins of the short repeat and I'll just add the short repeat in. I don't care. They're all the same color and they look still look beautiful. But anyways, so this is what I got. Look at, look at my hair. Look at that fabric. So I purposely went over in this corner because I wanted to get as much of this splotchy bit in. I really wanted to get this splotchy yellow in. I didn't want to have just the yellow because it's like a lot of yellow and a little bit of blue and over here it's blue, yellow, and the black gray so that's what I've got so far it's a it's a really loose 36 count I wonder if it was mislabeled and it's a 32 count because it's not tight at all with two threads and you can't tell I can tell from looking at it the color repeats the color uh change it's real subtle like it's not obviously like a different color it just looks like from light to dark oh i love it so much that was something to stitch and my goal was to get started on dragon and there's a tiny bit of a tail <laughs> that's what i started for lunar new year i got it back in my bag I try to keep semi organized today if you saw my desk and my table you would not believe that statement and then I worked on, oh, I'll show you my salves, like my self, I'm going to do this now. So my goal is to do at least one cryptid and one supernatural creature a month from the Witchy Stitcher, my own, like, this is my own salve for 2024, which I know will not get me a finished product at the end of the year, but I don't care. So which one is this? This is Supernatural. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. So it says that's from the Witchy Stitcher. And I worked on Werewolf. Now I'm not sure, I think, on this one, since I started in a corner and have gone that way, I think unless a different creature fits a weekly um, fandom stitching prompt, that I will do Zombie. Zombie next. And this is Supernatural from Witchy Stitcher on 32 count linen in After the Harvest from the Stitch Me. And 
my god, the werewolf den. Oh gosh. So I've got a lot of that border done. A lot for me anyway. So that's nice. It's also why I'm thinking to just keep going straight because then I'll go straight and then maybe down and work on some border. There's my werewolf. I love him. Look at the moon. Isn't that moon cool? I did not have it called for because inside his body, so I just picked a random light brownish gold color from DMC and popped that in there for his belly and face. But he's so cute. You know, for a werewolf. <laughs> I love this fabric. And again, I probably have too much, but I won't trim it until I get down to the bottom. Which just makes wrangling it into a Q-snap super fun. <laughs> and then... Jesus, like a brick in one of those bags. I'm also doing the cryptids. And that's what it'll look like. And to, um... How do you cover that? Um... What was I saying? Oh, I did Nightcrawler first, and then to, in order to fit a fandom prompt, I moved over to Deathworm. So I'm thinking what I'd like to do, this one is going to be more random than um, in order, like Supernatural. I'd like to jump down and do either the Kraken or Jersey Devil next. We'll see if any of those fit any prompts next month. Anyways, this one, I'm um, having more trouble with the border. There's a lot less border done on this one. Because I'll tell you uh, why. Mine's my why now. So, I was catching up on floss tubes and then watching whole new floss tubes to me. And I started watching the Redneck by Focal Stitcher, another Sarah. And I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to try my husband's readers. And see if that helps because I know, have noticed that it's harder for me to stitch and I'm doing a lot of pulling away. So I found out that it helps so, so much. Oh my God. I thought I was having trouble and not enjoying stitching on certain things like Cryptid. Yeah. Because um, a bad lighting and like uh, a tighter weave, darker fabric. And I thought my lighting in this house is just atrocious and that's why it's a problem. And but I popped my husband's readers on and found out, oh my God, even with atrocious lighting and dark fabric, I'm just blind. <laughs> I need, I need readers. I can't, I need something to magnify it. I got so much done. I'll show you on my, at the net, which is on a darker fabric, which I wasn't not enjoying it. It was just harder to do because I thought my lighting and the dark fabric was killing me. I just, no, I just couldn't see. <laughs> I just couldn't see. Same thing with Cryptid. It's a tighter weave, um, even weave. And it's not really that dark, but it's a tighter weave. So I thought the lighting and my bad eyes. You no, know, it's just my bad. My eyes are just super bad. But I did find out that I can't just pop his readers on. It gives me a headache. I actually have to put his, just like Sarah, just like the other Sarah, I have to pop his readers on over my glasses, look down, stitch, look up, watch what, like my floss tubes and things. Watch, watch, stitch, stitch, watch, watch, stitch. If I try to look through the readers, on their own, mom stitching, I get a headache. It hurts. I need my normal prescription and then my readers. <laughs> so this is my new look. Thank you, Sarah, for um, inspiring me to try it. It has made such a difference in my stitching. Like I went gangbusters on my at the Met because I could see the holes. I could see my stitches. It wasn't just dark lighting on dark fabric making it hard for me. I could see. So I went gangbusters on some things. But anyways, so that's, let me show you Cryptid. This is on is my little note card. Because you think I'd have this stuff memorized, but I don't. This is on Pink Chocolate Lugana 32 Count from Bestitch Me. It's a tight 32 count. I probably could have gone one over two, but. And the color never ever shows up. I see other people show it too. It does not translate on camera. It is like a mauvey, pinky, brownie gray. 
Oh, I want to say it's basically mauve. Ooh, that might be the closest I've ever seen it on my own recording to the true color. Because now it's just washed out. But anyways, I did the death worm and then I finished the top here and there. And then when I took a picture for Instagram to show that I was done for the month, my monthly, I noticed that this was only half done, but it wasn't centered. It was off. So I had to rip this whole one out, which was defeating. Because I probably should have got more, um, what's it called? It's not an outline. Border. Done. If I hadn't ripped that out, ripping out just bums me out. <laughs> but there's my cute little death worm with a little heart. It's adorable. That color right there. Right there. That's probably the most accurate to that fabric. Yeah. But um, yeah, there it is. And so this, as you can see, I have a lot less border on this one. And I think that's because I couldn't see. So I didn't. I was like, man, I just can't stitch on this. This is not, I'm not getting in the groove. I'm not, I'm not. Huh. I just couldn't get it. But then once I popped my glasses on, I could see the holes. Like, that death worm stitched up so fast. And then I was like, I'm going to do some border. And then I had to rip out border, and that ruined it for me. But I do work on this at least once a week. So now I'm going to focus, like, on a witchy towel. Because my goal is, again, to finish one block a month. So this next, I think it's Wednesday to work on it. I'm going to focus on getting some more border done on this bad boy. Now that I can see. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, you would not, like, seriously, I just went, like, I feel like I did so much stitching partly because I could see. Like, I decided there's a few things, like my um, Blackett's guy, I didn't pop the readers on because the, um, I could see just fine. Like, it was a lighter fabric, and it's Ada. There's not a lot of holes. And, um... Still a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but I could see. And that one's just slow going because I don't like it. <laughs> but wait to see am I at the Met. Okay, so easy floss mermaid wig. Where is it? Oh, I left my I left my projects. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. Yeah. So I'm not gonna show it to you. It's the mermaid witch, sea witch, and primitive hair. I just got a little more of the um, seahorse done. So not a lot of progress anyway. But this one, <laughs> holy crapo, you guys. This is the Mirabilia. She is my fancy lady for winter at the Met. I started her with um, Julie from Kansas City Girl in Colorado World. And I started smack in the middle right here. So basically this part of her dress. Oh, I can't wait to work on this part of her dress. <gasps> and I'm waiting to see what uh, Julie does with this white ass lady. <laughs> before I start to tackle the skin. Because we're doing her on the same dark fabric. And she will just glow on it because she's very pale so she's thinking of changing her skin tone and i will copy her like a big old copycat that i am gosh she's so pretty i love her so much but anyways okay it is on 32 count crimson peak from jody of the steel city stitchers ah. using it's two over two using all the called for um did I say that my Crypt of the Supernatural? They're also two over two. Anyways, 32 count, Crimson Pink by Jody of the Still City Stitchers. Two over two using all the call for DMC, Karen Water Lily, Krynek beads. I have um, I had to order uh, DMC from 123 Stitch because I have I was missing a few colors. So she has more holes. Like well, obviously this one she's gonna be holy because of beads, which I won't do to the end. But she has a few more holes than necessary. It's driving me crazy because I don't have the colors. But oh my god, look at look at all I got done. Look at all I got done. 
I mean, I went like as soon as I put those readers on and I could see uh, gangbusters, man. I just went to town on her. I just, I couldn't stop. I mean, I got filled in. And then I'm going to, tonight, move this Q-snap down so I can start the bottom of her dress. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's like, and it's so weird. It's like, I really don't like this color of the water lily. Like, working with it. I don't even like working with it. But together, I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you again, Sarah, and your bifocals. <laughs> and thank you, my husband, for having readers he never uses. Because I'm lazy. I would have never run out and buy, bought readers. But since there were some in the house, I was like, let's give it a try. <sighs> Gangbusters went to town. Got so much done. Oh, so much done. Also, also, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, this is the big one. My hate. I've decided I was doing like a bunch of black and I could not figure out how I wanted to do it. And then I uh, kept like over years of watching people do heads. Pe some people do pages, some people don't. They do all these weird parking. I can't do parking guys. I've, I've looked at it, it makes my brain hurt, not happening. Um, diagonals by 10, I'm like, I just, you know what? I'm just gonna go old school, Sarah, and do color completing. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I am going to do it by page. I don't care if there, if it leaves lines in my finished project. At this point, I don't give a shit because this thing's going to take me 25,000 years to finish. I don't even know if she'll ever make it on the wall because I don't know if she'll ever get finished. But, so A, that really helped get my butt going on this project. B, again, the bifocals, not the bifocals, the readers. Just like, I can see my stitches. Oh my gosh. I just... <laughs> I went to town on my hate, and I feel like I made so much project progress. Okay. I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it. I didn't want to stop. Just like Mary Bill, I was like, I don't want to stop stitching. But I had to because, for one, my eyes needed a break. And two, I had, I had so many other things I have to work on. I have to. Okay, so. Let me get this thing out. Which I also ordered. Why did the one, two, three stitch, uh, order is because I'm missing a lot of colors for her and it was driving me crazy I'm like I'm not moving to my next page until I finish this page and I got a lot of holes because oh I tell you what you guys doing the that's my back look at all that traveling this bitch is gonna be thick just in the little tiny dot right there that's in the back look at look at all this thread oh, it's so she ain't gonna be pretty from behind and I don't care so back to actually talking about her, or uh, the designer's name, or the artist's name. Okay, so this is my Hade, my Nefertiri, and the artwork is by Mandy Mazzano. I'm using DMC, 25 count, easy count Lugana. I honestly don't even know why I don't need, I could just gone with regular 25 count. I don't need the easy grid because I never ever remember where I started, like, in the pattern. Like, I never can remember if colored line on the fabric is the line above or below the charted line I just so it it doesn't help me really so I probably could if I ever do another full cover big ass piece I probably won't bother with the easy grid I'll just get like a I do like the 25 count though anyway two over one ten stitch <laughs> Let me show you a picture of Nefertiri because she's freaking gorgeous. Oh, she's so gorgeous. So I started at the top middle, this little, like I showed you the back of that little blue swatch right there. No, I have to sneeze. I'm so. Sorry. I have to hold it in so it wasn't super loud and that hurt. I do apologize. Oh, now my eye face is all weird. Ugh, okay, so there I started there. <laughs> Look at how pretty she is. Like this is gonna take me so long to do because I'm like, 
I'm like, man, I'm making so much progress. And I'm literally just right there. <laughs> and I am old school. I'll go ahead and show you the pattern because you're, there's like 30, you know, 40 pages to it. So this is going to get you nowhere. I printed out my pattern in a highlight. I got, I'm pretty sure I did, from last time I saw you, the, the purple was what I did. All that purple. Which, looking at the paper, I'm like, it's not a lot. But I swear to God, it's a lot, you guys. I swear it was a lot. But, so doing it this way, I fold my pattern, and I stick it on my, with the, with the, the magnet thing. Needle minder. And I, I do sections and I unfold and I move. And so because of that, there's creases everywhere and I can't see some of the things. I can't, I can't do words today. They tell me what color to use. <laughs> what are those called? You know, symbol. I can't see some of the symbols. They get just bent out of visibility. So, I was talking to Stephanie, my friend Stephanie. Excuse me, she was trying to mark up, mark up, I don't know what the initials are, and then I forgot that I had actually downloaded it because I went to check it out too, because she was raving about it. And I was like, oh shit, it was in a folder on my phone titled Don't don't like I don't use so apparently I downloaded it put there try it and then never did so when I went to try it lo and behold that was months ago and apparently you only get two free weeks of trial period and then it's like fucking like $16 a year to use it but I might do it after this page because I'm not going I'm not gonna go through and try to highlight all this on uh, a map I might try it because, like I said, I've been trying to color complete. And so I have to so I'm scanning for you know, certain symbols. And then I think I get them all. I move on to the next color. And then as I'm doing that color, I'm like, fuck! There's one I missed of a color three colors ago. So I have all these open spots where I'm going to have to go back and pop in one little color. One little color. Because my eyes missed it. It's frustrating. It's so frustrating. So I may bite the bullet and get markup. I mean, it's, I don't know if I'll paper it every year. Like I'll give it a year and see how much I can get done on this. So, you know, like two pages. <sighs> I might end up just having to bite the bullet and freaking pay every year for it. I can't believe it's like 20 bucks. It's like 16 to 20 dollars, I can't remember, because it's in pounds, I believe, per year, because I have Apple, so I can't have Pattern Keeper, which I think is like 10 bucks, one, one, one and done. Anyways, you want to see the project. I don't know why I shoved all my stuff way over here. Okay, so I actually, because I wanted to show progress on it, went to my last video where I showed her and took a screenshot. That was blurry and you can't really tell, but that's what I had last time. Look at all that lack of yellow. Look at all that yellow! <laughs> Look at, I can't say. <laughs> Look at all that progress I got, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the blues in the middle. I can't spell anything by the way. I think I got to stay on. I think I got excellent progress. Oh, look at that. This is one I will have to actually probably take before and after to show you guys pictures of because it's going to be hard. I think it's just more impressive. It's bigger. Got some browns in, a lot of yellows, some blues, some grays you can't see in there. Like, there's like a lot of solidness right in here that you can't see because it's like white. But yeah, so there she is. Oh. With those readers, you guys, I just because when I'm when I was doing all the black, I didn't need it because it's like I don't know, it's big chunks. And just, but when it starts to get confetti and little, like up in here, 
I lose like when I was trying to do some browns and these little white lines here I can I couldn't see where I was supposed I couldn't see <sighs> now I can and I just went too friggin town on this so this is a page is like here so my goal is by the end of the year <laughs> to finish a page which I shouldn't take the whole year to get that page done, but I am going to be realistic and I know that I have so many other things to do that this big massive project is going to be one that's not a priority. If that's for me, that's is most everything really. And it's so big that I know that I can't finish it quickly. But what was I saying? We'll see if once I get this page done and get markup, if that speeds things along too. Because I'm pretty sure, I know on Pattern Keeper, right, you can like isolate like just one color and work by color. I don't know if you got markup. I hope you can. That's the main reason I'd want to get it. Okay, so that's my excitement. Okay, so let's see what else I got. All right, so I wanted to finish I want to get your opinions on this so this is my Luna Moth or Lunar I can't remember what it's called I'm sorry by Julie from uh, Cancer Girl Colorado World and I did it on like a 25 28 I want to say 25 count from uh, Kaylee and I did it one over one anyways so I had this oval frame and I thought I might, I haven't finished, just, I, I didn't want to do it like this, and it's boring. But I want, I also have a big frame oval because I love this fabric so much, I want a lot of fabric to show. And I thought maybe I would frame it in the hoop like this and then hang it up, you know, lopsided like that. What do you guys think? Is that stupid? Or should I go boring and stick it in right, you know, facing the right way on the up and down? I don't I like it, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being stupid. Do you guys, I didn't want it like completely oval. I didn't want it, I wanted it kind of cockeyed. What do you guys think? Like cockeyed? Look how pretty those colors are in her fabric. Oh God, so pretty. Cause this is one of the fabrics that I got from Kaylee and I smacked it right in the friggin' middle. So I have all this fabric that I could probably stick a small on. If I put this in a small frame, tighter. I could probably fit a small on it. But I really wanted more of that fabric to show. I wanted to showcase her fabric too. What do you think? I think I might do it. But I want your opinion. But I'm probably going to do it. <laughs> so that's a finish I'm hoping to do in the next couple days. And then another finish I'm hoping to do is um, I finally sewed a border onto my cereal from the cereal south from I can't remember who, I'm sorry, it was a while ago, on this blood splatter fabric. And I have this uh, fabric that looked not like blood splatter really, but kind of a little bit. So I sewed the border on and then I got stuck. The interfacing's on it and everything. I'm like, do I make it into a purse? <laughs> do I make it into a project bag, a pillow, a wall hanging? So I asked Instagram and I got <laughs> like, No one, I didn't get help. <laughs> like, like I got, I got, yes, project back. Yes, wall hanging. Yes, pillow. I'm like, oh man, you guys. So I realized that I actually do need another you know, project bag. I got tote. I don't, I like making totes. At least I like the one tote I made. But I don't usually, I don't use totes. So I think project bag. But I also don't, the older I get, and I'm, I know I'm still fascinated by serial killers and murder, and I still watch all the freaking murder shows I can find. But I also feel like if I just rocked this, I'd be kind of glorifying it, and it kind of makes me feel a little uncomfortable now as I get older. So I thought, front of project bag, and then back of project bag, I stitch, and never forget, from Pumpkin Creek Primitive. The chart is extra special. She designed it with the uh, DNA Doe project in mind. With every purchase of the pattern, she donated $4 to the DNA Doe project and they helped identify um, DNA test um, Jane Doe's. 
and remember the forgotten. So I thought, well, that feels appropriate on the back of a horrible, horrible serial killer, like evil people, to also remember that they did horrible, horrible, evil things and to not forget the people that were brutally, brutalized, murdered, sometimes left unnamed. So I decided that's what I'm gonna do. This will be the front, this will be the back. I'm going to do it on 18 count, Ada. This is also, uh, I believe that was also 18 count, Ada. 18 count, Ada from um, the Stitch Me in Space Rock. And then I got the colors, the DMC that's called for. And then the DMC that's called for. And then I picked a purple from the middle that I like from Forbidden Fiber Co. But then I was thinking, well, that means that on the outline fabric of this will be purple or blue because it's purple bluey gray and I don't know if I like that so I thought maybe I should kind of keep it matching so it's like red there's a lot of red maybe I should change the colors to like a dark like a variegated red and then some like red flowers and I actually had to order thread from one two three stitch a while uh, the other week because I needed more of this for my sea witch and I just went ahead and ordered since it was close to Valentine's Day a couple reds for me and so I got these reds so I thought actually what is it that's general art schoolhouse red which is freaking gorgeous red old paint which uh look better online not a big fan and then classic colorwork manor red which is beautiful it's like a bricky red but thinking I could do those instead like words in this and then the flowers in like these colors like dark and light or at least maybe a different red and gray because that's actually gray around the flowers and then keep the green and the yellow what do you guys think should I stick with the called for colors and then do like a purple or blue outline and just have one side of my project pick be red and one side of my project that would be purple blue or should I go with keep the grays no keep that dark gray and the yellows or should I go with the reds and then do an outline of red I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. I cannot decide. I do know for sure though that I want these together. I feel like that's appropriate. I feel like, yeah, I want them together and they can go project bag. Because also like if I do red on the front and then like a blue purple gray on the back, what inside fabric should I use? Probably just a boring gray. Whereas if I do red, I can just put red in the inside of the project bag. You guys help me out. What do you think? Call for colors, go for purple. Go for purple on that grayish or not called for colors, go for the red. Oh, I don't know. I really like purple, <laughs> but I also really like red. I also kind of like matching. So I don't know, you guys tell me what to do. All right, and then what else plan-wise? That was my haul <laughs> for like last week. And then I think today or tomorrow I'm supposed to get my DMC threads from uh, one, two, three stitch. But I couldn't just order DMC, even though I ordered like 12 skeins. I also ordered fabric, backing fabric for my son's um, bird uh, pillow, which uh, I'll show you next week. It's super cute. This should be, make a super cute pillow for him. And then plan-wise, uh, March Madness is coming up. So you need, what, 16 projects? Yeah, 16 projects to start. And um, next month I'm also starting my spring, quote-unquote, queen, my spring lady, uh, Lakapati. Lakapati? 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 I know I said that wrong. Lakapati. Probably said that wrong from uh, Bella Filipino. So I'll start at her next month in the middle of all this. So that should be interesting. But uh, 
I have more than 20 whips, like 21, 22 whips. So I just went through, like, I didn't put my cryptids or my mirror on here because she will be not worked on anymore next month, after the middle of next month. And I didn't put my hate on, hate on here because it's too big. Basically things I had, I have signed a date, si assigned days to, so my sals, my hate, that's it really. And then I just opened up my drawer full of bags and I went through them and wrote them in order that they were in there. So I didn't get all my projects in here, but I got 16 of them in. So I'm gonna work on my colorful birds, my fluff the dragon, my sea witch, black at sky, polar pack, wave, my Halloween Quaker, my perky lion, two um, prairie schooler Santas, my Seasons of the Heart Winter, my Spirits of the Dead, my Star Spangled Shoal, my Chatelaine, my Baba Yaga, and my Dino Forest. So those are my 16 for March Madness. I will next week bring out the first, I'll show you the first, okay, so I'm gonna try, since it's March Madness and we're stitching every day, I'm going to try to record every week because I will have stuff to show. So I'll show you the first week's worth of um, contestants. I'll bring, I'll have them out to show you. Kind of hoping some of these smaller ones get a good chunk of stuff. Like my Santas are small. My sea witch has, I've got, it's not, she's not small, but I only have half a seahorse and a shell left. Oh my God, an hour. Oh my God, you guys, I am so sorry. I will stop babbling. So yeah, that's my March Madness. Okay, babble, babble. Um, so life, um, March Madness. I almost have 500 people. I got a new tattoo. I went out with my bestie for uh, Valentine's Day and we got tattoos and I got my baby girl's paw print. That's mine. It's He enlarged it. So that's like her paw is not that big, but he enlarged it. And I'm actually gonna go back and have him because they didn't want it to have it be solid black, but some, like where it was darker in the paw print. I, just, I feel like maybe it should be darker some other spots too. So, cause it maybe it's like, looks a little weird just having one darker. So I may have him add some more darker spots. But I just wanna make sure he had those two dots. Those dots are her nails cause she had freakishly long nails. <laughs> Even after being clipped, they were super long. So, and then the splatter from where she smudged it. So I find myself doing this all the time now, like rubbing right there. My girl's paw print. Yeah, I think I'll have him put some more dark, like even it out a little bit. Eventually, I might not, cause I get a new tattoo every 10 years. But cause he was like, I'm gonna have to, cause it was super smudgy. He's like, I'm gonna uh, do a little less smudge. So it's more clearly a paw. And he was going on and on. I said, I don't care what you do. I just, all I care about is these. <laughs> I have to have those right there above. I have to have her little nail tips. That's all I care about. <laughs> and he's like, okay. So, you know. Anyway, so I got that. Now, I was supposed to get another tattoo here, but I didn't of a wolf. But uh, me and my best friend eventually are going to go back and get those. And then I spoke to him about cover-ups because I have my kids' names on my leg I need to cover up because they look awful. I had them done God, like 19 years ago and the tattoo artist, when he put the, when he drew it and then when he put the stencil on my leg, they looked fine. And then after I was done tattooing, for some reason, the names are super close and it looks like one freakishly long weird name. So instead of two names, it's, I don't like it. I never liked it. So we talked about covering that up. And then I have um, on my back, I used to dye yarn and my logo which was a yarn ball. And now it just looks like a big black, I don't know if you guys can see it, a big black, can you see it all? Probably not. It's, it's, it's a big black like circle of nothing. But I don't want it covered up because it's still sentimental. So I'm hoping to turn it into like the center of like a poppy. We talked about that. And then we talked about tattooing over scars because eventually I would like to have a half sleeve of mermaids. This is all dreams because I've been dreaming about getting more tattoos for like 10 years and I didn't because I'm, I don't want to say I'm cheap <laughs> and they don't hurt me. They're like, at least everyone I've gotten so far is like, I kind of zone out and I'm like, huh. kind of meditative. Like, I don't know. 
It only really hurt like on my leg. I have a bigger tattoo. And uh, there's a couple swoopy lines where he went, and I was like, oh, okay. That was like, uh, because uh, he went like, real fast. That was, again, that was like 20 years ago. But um, anyways, oh, babble, babble, babble. That's, okay. So I have some new floss tubers to mention. They're not new. They're new to me. Or there are people I've had on my watch list that I've watched one or two episodes of, but never really fully caught up. I'm a completionist. I like to watch all the videos, but if you have been around for five years, then I just watched the last year because that's a lot of videos to get through. So, um, I took, I, I went through and took a bunch of people off who hadn't unsubscribed, people who hadn't uploaded in a while. And then my friend, um, Stitches and Staff said, oh, you shouldn't do that. What if they come back? Or if they want to come back and they see their uh, subscriptions have fallen and that might like make them feel bad and not want to come back. I was like, damn, she's right. Because really, if they're on my subscriptions and they're not uploading, they're not clogging up my feed. They're not doing anything. So I went and added a bunch back, but I forgot a couple. And one of them was M. Kissa Creations Marissa. And she was back. And I was like, shit, I forgot to add her back. So I missed a bunch of her videos. So I had to catch up with Marissa. Um, it's, and then there's a couple other people that I can't remember who they are now because I think I had them already. And then who, who else did I start watching? Um, I'd rather be stitching two beads with Tamara and Gabby. Stitching on the side with Zoe. The redneck bifocal stitcher with Sarah. Thank you, girl. The 20 minute stitcher with Heather and Amy loves toads. Amy. She's one that I think I took off. No, I didn't take off Amy. She's one I had on my watch list for like forever. And then for some reason I kept not watching and I thought, I was like, oh my God watch already so I did love it so yeah those are the new to me new to me not new people I finally freaking caught up with uh floss tubers so go give them a watch because they're all great and I think that's it oh my god I can't believe this is over an hour I am so sorry you guys I don't even feel like I talked that much and I feel like I did and I'm so sorry <laughs> thanks for putting up with me <laughs> and I guess I will see you guys probably next week. My son is hooking his computer back up to my computer, so I will again be walking. That, that's another reason I got a lot of stitching done. I hadn't been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 because my son took his laptop back. But um, he's going to his grandparents this weekend, and then he's starting a new job on Monday. So I'm going to have his laptop for a while, like four days. So <laughs> probably won't be a lot of stitching then for four days. But um, yeah, I will probably be, be probably, I will be back next week. Because I have to start showing you stuff for March Madness. Because that's fun. I love March Madness. I love any excuse to touch more projects. Because I have a lot of them and they need touched. And they need love. Don't we all? Alright. On that stupid note, I'm going to go. Thanks for stopping by. And I will see you guys next week.